Today, I got to meet up with my friend, Esther Kim. She's an illustrator. You may have seen her uber girly cute illustrations in magazines and even on t-shirts. Esther tells me she finds inspiration sitting in cafes. So today, we'll be hitting up one of her favorites, Yellow Cafe in Los Angeles. Have you ever seen a dessert that looks like the end of a rainbow? It must look something like this. This episode is sure to be super kawaii. I feel like I can be super cute and not have to worry you about... You are super cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me a little bit about your history. Why did you start drawing? When I was a kid in America, uh, at elementary school, my teachers always like uh, showed my work to the kids and like said, Oh, Esther's really good at this. Why don't you guys do it more like this? Add more color. Or, you know, like art class was my favorite time. I didn't think like I had this great talent, but I mm -hmm. also like enjoyed it and I guess I, I did you know, like maybe have a little bit of something. But then I moved to Japan in sixth grade and um, all my classmates could draw, like right. animation. Oh, yay, oh, yay. This, 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 this. Like, totally. Yeah, like everyone cute little draws. doodles. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and everyone was just so good. I just completely stopped doing art at that point. And it wasn't something I had pursued anyway, so I didn't, it wasn't like a heartbreaking or anything, mm. but I just, lost interest because I was like, oh, I'm not good at it. I, you know, I just, you know, I was good because everyone else sucked. But, um, <laughs> so I stopped doing it middle school, high school. In college, I just started drawing again. Like, um, I saw my brother and he's always been into art. And every time I went home for, for summer, he'd be getting better and better. And I realized, oh, you know what? If you try, you can get better at something. Like in my head, I was like, oh, talent is just something you're born with. Right. So as I thought about that, I was like, what can I do that I can get better at? So that's kind of how I started drawing. And you always draw like really cute girls. What's the inspiration behind that? Um, well, living in Tokyo for like from 92 to 99 as a teenager, like I was just bombarded by cute fashion <laughs> and girls. I've always been really into fashion. Yeah. And I love magazines and like, I don't even necessarily have to have the clothes. Like, if I draw it, I kind of feel like I have it. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's a good that's, way to look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I guess it's just more like interest in fashion, interested in what's girly, and interested in creating like a pleasing pop kind of image. So yeah. I see. And what are the most recent things that you've done? Anything that we can see? Yes. Um, the most recent thing is a project for uh, Gas Book and Chow Panic. These are both uh, Japanese companies, and the really famed uh, illustrator Fujio Akatsuka Fujio, mm -hmm. who did like Tensai Bagabo and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I did a project for them where I reinterpreted some of his characters in like Esther style. So no way. yeah. So Esther, these are all the T-shirts you've done. Yes, this is a selection of the shirts I've done. This one <laughs> is from um, Heather, a really great Japanese girls' clothing line. Love Heather. And we got to do a Trump Louis sailor collar with a Heather Esther collaboration. This is a bag I did for them with a Trump Louis keychain and badges. One of my favorite things and themes. Uh, this is a. Something I did for Glamour Kills. The t-shirt's really soft. It's yeah. really nice because it, it's almost like just the painting on a t-shirt. These are for Gasbook? Yes, this is for Gasbook. And um, these are, uh, it's a double collaboration between Chow Panic, Gasbook, I guess, and Fujio. Fujio <gasps> Chow Kawaii! So cute! So now I'm gonna ask Esther some random questions and see what she answers within 30 seconds. Let's try. Ready? Ready. Who's your favorite artist? Safi. Are you a saver or a spender? Uh, uh in between, a spend and saver. <laughs> Favorite musician? Um, I really like a lot of people. I can't think of one. Your guilty pleasure? Um, uh, McDonald's. Are you a good dancer? Um, sometimes people tell me I am. Rich or healthy? Uh, healthy. Skirts or pants? 
skirts. Favorite hangout spot? Um, cafes. What gets you inspired? Um, fashion. And who gets you inspired? Um, uh, Fridia. <laughs> Thank you Esther so much for Thank being you. on our show and we're really excited for your future projects. How else can we find out more about you? Um, you can check it out at oh, yeah. www.esterlazy.com Go check it out you guys! Okay, bye! <laughs> show Esther some love by checking out her website. Subscribe and leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. See you real soon!